Chapter 2 Creating Basic Shapes Using Solid Elements Operations Step 1 Creating the 3D Form of a Church Let's continue your design by constructing the architectural environment in which the project will be placed. In this chapter, you are going to create the buildings that surround your new pavilion. In order to do so, use basic shapes. These can be found in the ARCHICAD library. You also have to familiarize yourself with the solid elements operations functionalities. This will help you form more complicated 3D volumes. Start this step by creating the 3D form of the church. First, activate the 2.1 Point Creating Church 3D Form Preset View in the Navigator as shown. The appearing 2D drawings contain the contour lines and the elevation views of the church. Note that the form of the building can be reproduced by using elementary geometric shapes. At this phase of construction, you don't need to deal with the details of the model. This means you should place simple geometric forms without using doors and windows. The intention of this step is to create a mass plan of the environment, which will help you to check your future project in a real situation. Activate the Object tool in the Toolbox. Open the Settings dialog box. Under Special Construction, Select the Basic Shapes folder. Notice that the object named House Model corresponds to the form of the nave of the church. Select this object. First, rotate the object in the Preview window. Place the anchor point in the top left corner in the Preview and Positioning panel. Enter zero for the relative base height. Next. Customize the dimensions in the Parameters tab page. The roof type should be set to Type 1. Enter 12 meters for gutter height. Make sure that the footing height option is set to 0. Type 60 degrees for the value of the roof angle. Set the dimensions at the right part of the panel to 10 and to 29 meters. Open the Model panel. Select the Paint-19 material for the whole object. At the bottom part of the Settings dialog box, select the 3D form layer for the object. Return to the Plan view by closing the dialog box. Click the top left corner of the nave. As you can see, the object appears in the floor plan.